5 Celebrities You Didn't Know Were Latino You may be surprised to learn that some well-known people are Hispanic. People have a very narrow perception of what Latinos look like, but the truth is that we come in a very wide variety of shapes, sizes, and colors. 5. Bruno Mars On October 8, 1985, in Honolulu, Hawaii, Peter Jean Hernandez was born. In an interview with GQ, the pop star explains that he had to change his name to sound like he was from another planet in order for record labels to stop trying to make him the next Enrique Iglesias. Mars was born Peter Hernandez 27 years ago to a Puerto Rican Jewish percussionist from Brooklyn and a singer and dancer from the Philippines who met in Hawaii, and he was given the nickname Bruno as a toddler, allegedly because he resembled a famous wrestler, Bruno Sammartino, as an infant. The surname Mars would not come until he was an adult. The most famous fact in Bruno Mars's biography is that at the age of four, he was performing on stage as Elvis Presley in his father and uncle's Hawaiian variety show. I don't recall much, he admits. I'm not sure I could even speak that much. A smirk, but I was fucking amazing at it. School paled in comparison. And then you go to school and learn about fucking Christopher Columbus and stuff, Mars says. It was difficult to care. He'd be thinking all day about how much he couldn't wait to go and perform that night. It was like transforming into Batman. I'd go to school and the kids would call me Peter and we'd play baseball, kickball, and shit. And then, okay guys, I've gotta go. You put on a sequin jumpsuit and you're Bruno, the world's youngest Elvis impersonator. Whatever wisdom he absorbed at the time, his talent took time to develop. After moving to Los Angeles at the age of 17, Mars experienced a string of missteps, including a contract with Motown, a stint under Will I Am's management, and a few years in the wilderness. One issue was his name. He mocks the response he might receive. Your last name is Hernandez. Maybe you should do this Latin music, this Spanish music. Enrique is extremely popular right now. 4. Sarah Paxton You've probably seen Sarah Paxton before. She's a stunning young blonde turned 25 in April who appeared in fam fantasies such as Aquamarine, horror films, Last House on the Left, and the much classier The Innkeepers, as well as the insanely violent Shark Night 3D, guest appearances on TV shows, and a Lifetime TV movie, Blue-Eyed Butcher. She's actually in a musical called Love Struck, which will premiere on ABC Family in April. The soundtrack has already been released. She's also in two high-profile films, premiering at SXSW this year, the edgy rom-com The Bounce Back and an offbeat thriller called Cheap Thrills, in which she plays a crazy tattooed bad girl. Sarah is a Latina as well. Her mother is Mexican, and she has spoken fluent Spanish since she was born in Southern California. And no matter how hard she tries, she will never be cast as a Latino character. Sarah is part of a small but disgruntled group of actors who simply do not fit the racial stereotype of Latino in all its complexities. She hasn't tried to hide her ethnicity. In fact, she embraces it. However, being blonde, blue-eyed, and unaccented does not fit the bill. 3. Tatiana Ali Tatiana Ali grew up watching television as the adorable Ashley Banks on The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, where she played the youngest sibling on one of America's most iconic sitcoms. And while Ali fully embraced her rule as a member of the country's beloved black families, grappling with her identity at school was far more complicated. I remember black and white friends asking why my hair is different, recalls Ali, whose mother is from Panama and father is Indian from Trinidad. When you're a kid, it's so hurtful and confusing. 2. Louis C.K. Louis C.K., one of America's top comedians, discusses his childhood in Mexico in the latest issue of Rolling Stone. C.K.'s father was from Mexico, and while he was born in California, his family moved south of the border when he was a year old, before returning to the U.S. when he was about seven and settling in Boston. C.K. stated that he avoids being treated as an immigrant because he has white skin and red hair, and that while he began speaking Spanish, he rejected that past once he arrived in the U.S. I had a whole nation of people helping me just accept that I'm white, C.K. tells Rolling Stone. In America, race no longer means what it used to mean, C.K. said in an interview with Rolling Stone. Obama is black, but not in the way that people used to define it. Is it your experience or the color of your skin that is black? My perspective as a Mexican immigrant differs from that of someone like George Lopez. He's originally from California. He will, however, be treated as an immigrant. I am an outcast. My grandmother, Abuelita, did not speak English. My entire father's side of the family is in Mexico. I'll never be called or treated like that again, but it was my experience. What is the racial background of CK? According to Color Lines, his paternal grandfather was Hungarian, who immigrated to Mexico and met CK's grandmother, who was a Mexican with Spanish and indigenous Mexican ancestry. Louis Sikeli is his given name, pronounced CK. In a 2009 interview with Tavis Smiley, CK revealed that he still has Mexican citizenship. 1. James Rode According to James, the last name confuses people, but the psych star, who is half Mexican, changed it from Rodriguez to Rode when he started his career for two reasons. 
There was already another James Rodriguez registered with the Screen Actors Guild, and an agent at the network where he landed his first job was concerned that casting a white Latino would appear to be skirting around issues of diversity. Subscribe to our channel.